Hey guys, this is Rob from Icebox Auto here today. I'm just going to show you today's install, which is on a BMW 7 Series. Um, this is the uh, whopping 12.3 inch screen. You can go a little bit smaller if you want to the 10.25, uh, but this is the big massive one. As you can see, this is the original menu of the car. Uh, it is the CIC menu, obviously, um, and you have full functionality of that screen there. So obviously you would normally control it as you would with the iDrive paddle. Uh, and to simply go over to the Android screen, you either press the touch screen, which is a quick way of going through, or just simply hold down the menu button, which is between the iDrive, and that takes you over to this system here. It is our latest Android 13 model. It does come with the Snapdragon processor. Um, it's the top of the range processor. It's a 665 or 662 processor, sorry, which is the Qualcomm. Um, as you can see, it's really quick and responsive, uh, as you would expect with all our systems. Um, now, a lot of tat on the market. Uh, so the question we always get is, is there any lag on these systems? The reason no, because you tend to stay away from a lot of the cheaper variants. Uh, so if you want to go and pick up a unit on eBay for £200, then obviously you're going to be compromised with obviously the quality entails inside. Uh, being a company in the UK, we give our own two-year warranty with it, uh, which is and also lifetime support. So the warranty is with us, it's not with the manufacturers, so a lot of people tend to pass the book to the manufacturers. Uh, we won't do that, so obviously if you have any issues under the manufacturer's warranty, again, they pass the book to China. We don't, you get a UK uh, fully governed uh, license warranty, which is obviously uh, will stretch further afield to worldwide, so obviously if you're in the EU or further afield, then obviously uh, we are covered and you get lifetime support. Now what that basically means is any issues beyond a two year warranty, um, firmware updates, help with the system, also optimise it, all that type of stuff. We're still here for you, so obviously um, you're not buying into the Icebox Auto brand. Uh, so I'll just give you a little bit of a um, video on the functionality of the system. You're probably quite familiar with a lot of our systems anyway. It does come with a SIM card input, so you can give it an internet connection through a SIM card with data on, or alternatively you can connect it to hotspots on your phone. Uh, you can put any maps of choice on there. Uh, at the moment it's got Google Maps here. This is an online app, so obviously it does need an internet connection to, to support it. Um, this is why you're probably not getting any maps coming up at the moment, just because it needs an internet connection. Um, we're obviously just finishing off the install now, so we haven't done that. Uh, but also you can download any maps of choice, like Waze, Copilot, TomTom, Tom, all that type of stuff onto the Play Store. Uh, from the Play Store, I should say. Okay, your music app. So if you want to put your... Let me just load it down. It does work with the steering wheel controls, which I'm doing in the background. This is just the MP3 player app, which basically you can put your music on to a pen drive, a USB pen I want to call it, and play all your music through there, as applies to videos too. Uh, so you can also put your videos on a pen drive too and all. Uh, let's have a little look, there you go, that one there. Uh, so you can get your videos on there too, it's all like a full HD screen, resolution on it's really good, uh, but I don't think there's any, let me see if there's any dummy videos on here, sometimes there is. There you go. So there you go, there's your video um, set up there, so obviously you can put all your pen drives on a uh, music and films on a pen drive. You can customise these, so if you wanted to buy IA, bring, say, the, let's have a little look, bring the CarPlay, the Android Auto app, you can customise these, so you can move these along, like so. Oh dear, one second, let me just put the car engine on. <coughs> systems if the car engine on it tends to go off after a couple of minutes after the sleep mode yeah so just going back to this you can customize it and move things along if you want like so uh, and you can do that there if you wish um, okay so going back to this here uh, you can change like the fonts and stuff like that uh, see them going in different colors so you can change uh, these font colors and stuff like that so this car info app here takes you back to the original screen just as I showed you before by holding down the menu button to go back over here, you can simply also press the touch screen and that'll take you back over to there. Okay, there's your phone there. Now, obviously, this is where you can do your uh, phone calls through, but again, if you're going to be using a CarPlay, the Android Auto app, your phone calls will go through that there. Uh, at the moment, we've got them set up to the CarPlay Android Auto app, which I'll show you in a moment. There's a dashboard here, so this little weather app's quite nice. Uh, so basically, that'll change depending on where you are, but again, this needs an internet connection to do that. Uh, so this here says MPH, which is another good one. A lot of them just take, tend to case of a KPH, but you can change that over in the back end settings. So if I was putting my foot down, you see the revs going up here. And that's that side of things done. Okay, let's go back out. Let's have a little look what else we've got. 
Okay, so there's your app store. So this is where all your apps will go into. This is where it'll go into the background. Again, you can bring any of these over to the home page if you want. Um, as you can see here, you've got your built-in Play Store. So this is where you download your apps from. Uh, as you, if you're um, familiar with obviously an Android phone, you know your Play Store, you've already got login details to log in. Now, if you've got an iPhone, doesn't matter. A lot of people just see this system being Android and think that they can't link their iPhone to it. That doesn't mean nothing. All it is, Android is just the OS, which is where you download apps to. So as opposed to if you had an Apple phone, you download from the App Store, the Apple Store. Uh, if you download from Android, it comes from the Google Play Store. So it just doesn't mean you can't use iPhones. Just, just get that out of your head, so it's totally fine. Um, okay, there's Google Maps, there's Chrome. These are all pre-installed on, onto the system before you get it. Uh, another uh, Google Chrome. Google browser there. One second. Now what this is here, that was which I haven't got into yet, is the Android Auto. But the Android Auto's got a thing called Google Assist. So if you say that, then basically it wants to help you out. So this is why that's just started up then because I said that I mentioned the word Google. Uh, but I think if you say hey Google, it comes on. No. Okay, so basically all that was basically is it, let me have a little look. Let's go into it and let's try this one here. So this is Android Auto app, let me, so let me try a game. Hey Google, take me to Liverpool. So there you go, that's, uh, that's the, the Google Assist shown on there. Um, so basically this, uh, let's show you that one second. So this is your uh, Android Auto, so obviously it links with Apple, any Android phone. So if you're not familiar with Android Auto, it brings a lot of your apps over from your system, from your phone over to the system. Can't do anything like YouTube, Netflix, because the software doesn't do that, but it does anything like Spotify, any music apps, uh, text messaging apps does your phone calls through it, uh, any maps, navigation apps, stuff like that as you can see. Uh, if you are an Apple user it brings CarPlay over which is basically on the same app but it's dual use so obviously CarPlay would be brought over. Same same sort of functionality and pretense. It uh, shows you how to work that there too. Uh, so if I go back to exit, uh, so this takes you back onto the home page of this here. It does work with the original camera. Uh, let's have a little look one second. I'm not familiar with this car to be honest with you. Select the gear. There you go. So there's the rear camera there. So obviously you can put aftermarket in. Uh, it does work with those sensors too. Um, so obviously if you did want to uh, put an aftermarket camera in, also it does that too. So just go back onto here. Takes you back over to there. And I don't think there's much more I can show you. Let me just show you the settings app here, one second. So this is where obviously all the back end settings were. So obviously if you did want to set anything up here, which tends to be all relatable cameras and unit temperature, fuel consumption, fuel units changing over from gallons to liters and stuff like that. You can customize the music and video app onto the home page. So that one I showed you before about working with the USB pen, you can basically put your Spotify into the home page if you wanted to. Uh, let's go back out one. Settings, maps, music, settings, uh, navigation, there's another one there. So any maps that you download would go into here if you wanted to put them on the home page. Audio settings, so your Android volume there, OEM volume and sound. So that's that there. Languages, okay, so pretty much German, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, Italian, Dutch, uh, Russian, French, Portuguese, Turkish. Vietnamese, Polish, uh, you can probably put like quite a lot of other languages on there. I do know the factory uh, can tailor for your needs, so if any of them languages are not there that you have as your native uh, speaking, then obviously let us know and I'm sure we can put it on there for you. Um, okay, let's go into the Android settings. So this is just like your Wi-Fi, your app storage, this is pretty general when it comes to Android. I tend to have like a lot of systems in there. Uh, let's have a little look. Okay, factory. Okay, so this is uh, Stout If you do need to go into these settings, uh, I think it's 070305, and that takes you into the back end settings. So you, sometimes you may have to change these here, which is the screen resolution, depending on what type of car it's going in. Uh, and sometimes we have to change this here. But again, 
if anything needs to be changed always check in first with us because uh, we don't really want you to play around with that we'll just put the mic gain up there to 20 so obviously it increases the sensitivity of the mic um, ok I think that's it guys hope you liked the video uh, as always it's been a pleasure and if you've got any questions um, put them down below um, and we'll put the link on all our contact detail, details into the description um, and if you're interested in anything like this this niche in this industry then you're always welcome to get in touch with us ok have a nice day take care bye bye